Earthlings, welcome back to story time. Today we're going to start reading a different kind of book. Um, it's based off of um, kind of like scientific things in nature. Um, we're going to start talking about or reading books about uh, savanna animals. A savanna is an area that typically doesn't have many trees, maybe has a few trees, and it's mostly grass, grasslands. Um, and today our savanna animal is a mammal. Now a mammal is what we are too. Um, mammals usually have fur or hair and they feed their babies milk um, that they make through their bodies and their babies are usually born alive, meaning their babies aren't born in an egg. Um, the babies are already alive um, and don't have to hatch. So those are our two vocabulary words and I'm going to read, forgot to show you the book, <laughs> I'm going to read a book called Giraffes and this one is written by Leo Statz and um, yeah, so let's get right to it. Let's read our book on giraffes. Hopefully you like them. Okay, so once again we have Giraffes by Leo Statz. And this is our mammal, the giraffe. They feed their babies milk. They have hair. And they're really tall. <laughs> giraffes. Now this is called Table of Contents. So if you were just picking up this book and you wanted to read a specific page, you go to the table of contents and it tells you all the things that this book has, but we're going to read all of it, so we're going to start on the first page. Giraffes. Giraffes are tall mammals. Remember our vocabulary word, mammal? Their necks are long, so they're, so are their legs. Giraffes walk slowly, but they run fast. A giraffe can run up to 35 miles per hour. That's 50, 56 kilometers per hour. It's pretty incredible. It's a little faster than a, your car would go through um, your neighborhood, usually. Their body. Giraffes have large eyes and ears. They have two short knobs on their heads. See the knobs? There are their eyes again. And ears. And their neck. Their fur has brown spots. And you can see all the spots on here. And look how different they are from each other. This one's a bit darker. It's a bit lighter. These two are kind of similar though. Except this one has some like reddish, orange spots on it. Tan or white lines separate the spots. Each giraffe has a different pattern, kind of like our fingerprints. All of us, we all have fingerprints, but each one is unique, meaning they're all different. So each giraffe has their own pattern. Habitat, Th that means um, where they live. So giraffes live in Africa. Africa is here on a map. They don't have North America where I live over here, but this is Africa. Giraffes live in Africa. They are found in dry open areas. Some live in savannas. So that's our vocabulary word, savanna, meaning it's mostly grass. Um, barely any trees. However, others live in woodlands where there's more foresty areas. And right here, you can see this box says yellow. So where you see yellow on the map, that's where giraffes live in Africa. Food. Giraffes reach for 
food high in trees. That's why they have such long necks. So they can reach the top of the trees and eat them. They eat leaves. They eat twigs and fruit. Giraffes have long tongues. Their tongues are strong. The tongues can grab and hold objects. Look at that long tongue. <laughs> Look here. It's kind of like a bluish purplish tongue. The life cycle. Giraffes live in herds. A baby giraffe is called a calf. Giraffes live on their own. After one or two years, they can live up to 25 years. I am 27 years old, so they live just a little under how old I am. Average height. A giraffe is taller than a basketball hoop. 10 feet is a basketball hoop but giraffes are about 16 and a half feet long. That's so tall. Average weight. A giraffe is heavier than two soda vending machines. Two soda vending machines are 2,200 pounds, but a giraffe weighs 2,275 pounds. Holy smokes. It's incredible. And that is the end of our books about giraffes. Well, hey, halflings, thank you so much for joining me for story time today to learn about our giraffes. Remember, they're mammals who live in the savanna. Remember, mammals are animals that um, usually have fur or hair. We are mammals. Um, their babies are born alive and they feed their babies milk that they make with their bodies. And remember that our savanna is our habitat, a place where you can live, and it is a place that is mostly grassland. Um, there's very few trees. There are some trees, but very few. So yeah, once again, thank you for joining me. Check out the comment section for a related activity and uh, that'll be uploaded in the near future. Um, but that is all I have for you today. So take care, halflings, and see you later. Bye.